What's up, guys? So I'm first going to show you guys before I review the wig exactly how I did my hairline to do the no baby hair style of wearing my wig. I've already gone through and plucked uh, the frontal through so it's thinner. But now, as you can see, I am making sure that the hairline, like I'm plucking it now to mimic what my actual hairline looks like. So that's why I'm lifting up the lace is so you can see, well, so I can see um, what my hairline looks like so I can kind of mimic it on top of the lace. And this is just a real key point to getting your lace to look as natural as possible without having any baby hair because what you don't want is for the lace to still be going straight across even with you having plucked it for a thinner hairline. I've finished making the hairline look like mine I'm now seeing that the cap isn't gonna work so I'm just gonna take the cap off and do it without the cap because I wasn't gonna wear this wig long enough for me to do the whole bald cap or fake scalp method which you could do if you wanted to I just didn't because I was only gonna wear this wig for the day so I'm going and customizing by my ear it's better to go lower than you think you need and keep cutting than it is to cut too high because you can always cut off more, but you can't get more back. So I'm just, I try to be very careful when I'm cutting around that ear area to make sure I don't get too much and just keep going back a few times until I got it right. <laughs> Same thing with the other side as well. putting two slits within the lace because I'm going to apply the wig down like I'm gonna gel it down with the got to be before I take the lace off I'm using got to be gel and I'm using got to be free spray don't want to use too much because you don't want it to dry white Keeping the lace on there helps so that way your baby, like the front hairs, I'm gonna call them baby hairs since we didn't cut off baby hair, but those front hairs don't get caught up in the, like the gel and the stickiness and you know, it looks neater. again before I cut the lace off so that way it can um, settle in place and melt down but in the meantime while that's going on I'm gonna go ahead and spray down the hair I had combed through it you know doing all my plucking so I wanted to redefine it <laughs> the 
Garnier Fruitiques Curling Scrunch. I just wanted to see how it would react on this hair. I'm not quite sure just yet, but I'm using that to try and define the curls back to, well, more definition. And then once I've taken my scarf off, now I'm just gonna use my razor to go ahead and um, go down my hairline and get the excess lace off. I think the razor gives a more natural effect than the scissors do. And you wanna make sure to follow the hairline you created. let my stuff air dry but just for security's sake for this wig i did blow dry on cool to help that um gel be as dry as possible so it sticks as good as possible and it did stick for that whole day like using my scissors to cut off any little bits of excess because sometimes with the razor you can go a little too far like it's hard to control a little bit so it's easier to control with the scissors for those little parts to me anyways and then any parts that are just kind of still sticking up I put a little bit of got to be on the tip of my rat tail comb and just using that to lay it down and using a little bit of the cool air to also dry it I've been doing now I'm just going through and, and uh, adding my part and deciding how I want the hair to look on me and all of that. There's nothing harder to me than making sure my middle part is right smack dab in the middle. Taking a little mousse to set that part in place and push the hair back a little bit. And then I'm just taking some powder foundation and putting it into the part. I meant to do the spray tan method on the cap, but I forgot once I got in the zone for my plucking. So that's why I'm going through with the foundation in the part, like I would do with the synthetic. And then I'm also adding some onto the rest of the lace that you can see. So that way it kind of still makes it more scalp-like than um, just seeing those black dots. And just the pieces of hair that wouldn't curl up the same way when I scrunched it, just cut that off so it was more even. And then just gonna take a wand. My hair is dry at this point. I am not putting a hot wand on wet hair. Okay, you guys, so the wig is on and laid now. I did the no baby hair uh, method this time because I've never like been a huge, huge fan of baby hair. I like it. Um, sometimes but I usually do it because it kind of covers up my mistakes and um, you know when I, I've been getting better at my plucking skills and like my hairline skills so you know it made it easier during the meantime just add baby hair and make it look natural versus like really getting in there and plucking like I did this time y'all didn't see like all the pluck action work I did maybe next week I'll show y'all but y'all didn't see all the pluck action I did I went about this far back line by line parting and plucking um for this and then also with the front of my hairline um as y'all saw as i was doing it i um kind of matched it up with the way my hairline goes because you don't want it to be like straight across even if you pluck it and it's like thinner and gradient going back you still don't want the lace just going like this or it still makes it look like you know your hairline's not straight across like that so anyways this water wave wig is 18 inches um pull down obviously you know how curl inches work you gotta pull them for the full length um i did wet these curls and add some crunch curl stuff i'll link everything i use down below in the description box this is my first time getting water wave i've never had water wave before in my life and this is actually this is probably my second time working with an amazon brand well i shouldn't say working with a couple years ago i bought hair from an amazon brand and i don't remember what brand it was but like I wasn't impressed. I mean, I'm sure they've come up over the years because that was probably 2014, maybe? 
maybe 2015 something like that but i did not like what i got and that's kind of the hard game to play when you go to like those marketplaces like alibaba or um what's it called amazon because you know you can hit the jackpot or you could not not too thick but it's not too lay down embarrass me while i'm trying to record all right so my camera died i don't remember where i left off but i'm gonna start from density so i don't know the exact density but i would say eyeballing it it's a good it's it's either one i want to say it's 150 because i feel like 130 would have been a little bit thinner and like maybe like that water wave is a whole lot like deep wave i see it's pretty much like the same except maybe just a little bit curlier i would say than deep wave now this is a curly unit a tighter curly unit at that so you will have you know tangles over time and things like that but what's important is that it detangles pretty easy um as long as you're taking care of it I haven't gotten any unnecessary shedding since I've been putting it on and styling it. Of course, it shed a little bit because I plucked the hairline and I, you know, cut the hairline and all of that. And I cut on it to make the grooves and stuff for my actual, like, to look more hairline-y. That's a word. It's not a word. It's a frontal, obviously. So you can, you know, pull it back, do different styles with it, all of that. It's just a regular Swiss lace. It's not an HD lace or transparent or anything. So overall, I really like this unit. It looks very, very natural. Like, if I didn't just do a big review, probably people would think this is, like, my actual hair or something. Not that it looks like my hair hair, but, like, it looks like it's growing out of my scalp. If you would like to purchase, I will link down in the description box all the details you need. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you want to pick up this unit, I will link it down below in the description box with all the details that you need to purchase. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.